Hello everybody, this is me, the Movies Reborn, here with another Pokemon XD Gather Darkness Walkthrough episode. And today, we're going to be starting off with CD number 35 of my Battle CD collection. Uh, real quick, I want to give a shout out to one of my friends, Crazy T5435, I think. Yeah, Tom, you're awesome. I want to give a shout out to Craig, he's awesome as well. And just all my friends, and my new friend, uh, Corey, you're awesome. Forget what you're... YouTube name is though. Dang it. Something to Naruto. It's not something to know with Naruto. Naruto. It has something to do with Naruto. And let's see. Well, anyway. Uh I know it has some Ezio? Ezio. Something like that. Anyway, C number 35, the game of metronome. You find this battle CD in the Fennec Training School Underground, which is you know that little training area underneath the Fennec School. Really, there is absolutely no strategy in playing this battle CD. But really, uh, in tune with this walkthrough, I might as well show you a playthrough of it. This game, this battle could turn out one of two ways. You could get your butt handed to you, or you, you could hand their butt to them, or they could kill themselves, or anything. It really does not matter. It's all completely random. That's what. That's really what the move metronome, metronome does. Is that picks one move from the entire roster of Pokemon moves, and uses it. But that could be bad and good. Uh, I mean, you could use moves that kill yourself or anything. Oh, Geodude dug a hole. Now that was actually a pretty good move because that means he used Dig. The first two moves did nothing. Endeavor and Mirror move. And Cleffa's using Ice Ball, and luckily it hits. Interestingly enough, that's actually a pretty good move because Ice Ball. It's like rollout, except it's an ice type move. Um, hopefully, my Pokemon can survive Geodude's dig, because that's actually got a power of 60. Machop's using Swallow, and that does nothing unless you started using do uh, Stockpile. You can survive! Yes, you can. I will survive! I will survive! Let's see what kind of awesome moves we're gonna use this time. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Leaf Blade! Come on, hit Geodude, please, 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 yes, 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 yes! Oh, ha, ha, yes! Double effectiveness. Geodude died on turn two. It's pretty bad, because, I mean, these are completely random moves. His luck just is not working out for him. Ha, <laughs> ha! Awesomeness. Alright. Metronome, what are you going to use this time, Machop? Aerial Ace. Now, that's actually a pretty good move, except it's not Machop's type. But it still is going to do a decent 9 damage. Let's see what's... It's, it, this game is so fun to play, even if you lose it. I mean, it's so fun to see what moves you get to use. Psywave. That may very well kill Machop, because it's against his type. Oh, wait, never mind. Psywave. That uses uh, the user's level, I think. I don't know. Don't listen to me. Ice Ball again, and Machop is down. That was pretty... Painless, don't you think? Three turns for a completely random battle. And both of my Pokemon are still alive? That's awesome. Thank you, God. Awesomeness. Well, that's CD number 35 for you. Completely random, no strategy needed. Just keep using Metronome. Uh, let's see real quick what we get for doing this. What is it? An X accuracy. That's useless to me. Alright, CD number 36 bookshelf in Nets room on the fourth floor of ONBS. Um, Fighting King, side A. Now, this is probably one of the easiest battle CDs, even though it's, uh, even though it's, a difficulty is, you know, a line. I don't even know how that's a difficulty. Uh, but the side A, that is the easiest battle CD probably ever. Even better than battle CD number one. Now you have a Blaziken, a Breloom and a Machamp, and they have a Poliwrath, a Hitmonchan, and a Hariyama. Now, what you need to know first of all is that they all know Focus Punch, and they're probably going to use that. So with Blaziken, what we're going to do is you're, we're going to Focus Punch as well. And since Blaziken is faster, he gets to hit, and Focus Punch is ridiculously powerful. So therefore, we're just going to own them. They are, they, they're not going to be able to win at all. Um, the strategy here is really just to either use Focus Punch or Dynamic Punch. Um, if you miss with Dynamic Punch, they'll probably kill you with Focus Punch. But just keep using Focus Punch, because I'm pretty sure that's all they do. 
And with Blaziken's higher speed, all of them, even if they survive the Focus Punch, their Focus Punch will get knocked out of alignment because they got hit. So therefore, I am winning. Uh, totally. There's like nothing left for them. Focus Punch. I'm curious to see if this can actually kill a Hariyama in one hit. Can it? It most definitely can. Fantastic. Wow, that was CD number 36. Painless, quick, and to the point. Ba -ba -ba -da. Ba -da 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 -da. All right, now let's see our reward for this really easy battle CD. What is it? What is it? What is it? Tell me, tell me, tell me. PP up. Now that's actually pretty cool. Now let's talk to her again, and now we'll flip it over and get CD number 37. We're going to do that one right now. And obviously, if you guys don't know what flipping the side over is, it means that uh, you'll be having the opponent's Pokemon, and your opponent will have your Pokemon. And also, sometimes the moves, for some reason, are swapped around. Sometimes they learn things that aren't actually there anymore. Um, but your strategy this time, actually, is pure luck. Because the opponent will, will use a lot of dynamic punches. And that has 50 accuracy, but it has insane power. If it hits you, you'll most likely die. But I think that's really all they try to use. Um, but for the most part, this blade skin again, is the fastest Pokemon. And so, your Poliwrath has a type advantage, but it's got lacking in speed. So let's try to use Surf. Please miss with your... Oh, crap, it's hitting. No! Oh my goodness! Uh, and even even confused me. That's bull crap. Come on, surf, surf, surf. Oh crap! See, it's pure luck. It really is. May even have to re-record. Don't hit. Okay. Don't hit with confusion, please, 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 please. I beg. Yes, yes, yes. Now, don't rejoice at all because you have to learn a hard lesson in screwonomics. Look at Blaziken. He's eating a berry. It's the salic berry reversal combo. You know that combo. He's ridiculously fast, and he's going to use Reversal. You're done. You're over. Really? No, you're not. Because, if you know the right Pokemon to switch in at this moment, is the Hitmonchan. Now, if he keeps using Reversal, your Pokemon are screwed. Right? Well, how are you going to kill him? Well, by being faster than he is. So let's use Mock Punch, a priority move. Taking out just enough HP to kill him. So that's how you do it, my friends. Now he's going to throw out his Balloom, and we're going to try and use some Focus Punchness. If he misses with his Dynamic Punch, my Focus Punch will hit. Yay, it misses. Very cool. That's really all you should do is try to Focus Punch again. Wave. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now it's Machamp. Come on, Machamp. You can miss, right? Everybody misses. Miss, darn you. Miss. Yay. Focus punch! Death to all who oppose me. Wow, he survived? Okay, mock punch then. Eat it! And that's how you do it. Now, if you happen to uh, get your Hariyama out versus the Machamp, go ahead and try to use a really powerful move. Uh, because his Machamp will, on the first turn, he'll use bulk up and then he'll kill you with a dynamic punch. So go ahead and let loose in a final berserk. Ch a chance to uh, try to kill him. So, yeah, that didn't even make sense at all. Well, that's three battle CDs, and it looks like I only have ten minutes up. So maybe we'll be able to do five battle CDs in this. That would be fantastic, don't you think? So, um, let's do battle CD number 38. And this is in a bookshelf in the storage room on the ONBS building, third floor. And it is... Fossils versus each other. Now, fossil fight side A is technically easier than fossil fight side B. Uh, you have Kabuto, uh, Kabuto Ammonite, Amastar, and Kab Kabutops. They have Lilip, Anorith, Cradilly, and uh, Armaldo. Now, really, they should be able to kill you, but unless you use some good moves, you won't die. 
Now, for some reason, I found out that rock is, like, normal effective on rock. I didn't know that. Interesting and... Inter interesting... Blah, 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 blah. Sorry. Uh, you're gonna want to try and focus your special attacks on Lily and use Ancient Power on Anrith, since uh, rock is super effective on Bug. You should be able to kill him in one hit with Ancient Power from Kabuto. Darn you, Kabuto. You're always messing up Naruto. Kabuto! But anyway, Anorith's down, and so they'll summon the next evolution of Lily, which is Cradilly. You gotta watch out for their Bullet Seed, because that's double effective on all of your Pokemon. Uh, but since it is, in fact, Grass, let's see, it's, uh, it's weak to Ice. And so I'll show you how to exploit that weakness in a little bit. Uh, let's use Ancient Power to do a little bit of damage. Just try and do as much damage now. Attack! Wow, that did more damage than I thought it would. That's weird. Yeah, here comes Bullet Seed. You're screwed if you get hit by this. Ouchies. Ouchies. Two times. It's enough to kill an Ammonite. Now, once one of your Pokemon gets taken out, throw out Amistar to exploit Cradilly's weakness to the Ice type. Because Amistar happens to know Ice Beam. Aha, uh -huh, see? See? And Lily really shouldn't even be bothered with right now because you're gonna own them. Uh, but if you have an extra Pokemon, just go ahead and keep Ancient Powering it. Eat it. Ooh, it survived. Great Dillies are tough Pokemon. So are Lily. And I froze them solid. Now that's new. Not exactly something that happens to me on a normal basis. It's kind of a huge moment for me. I'm so happy. Cradilly is frozen solid. Wow, it didn't take one turn for it to get out. That's interesting. That's something else that hasn't happened to me before. It's like the moment I freeze somebody, they automatically get out. Let's Ice Beam Lily, since Cradilly is of no threat. And you survived too, you crappy Lily. What is wrong with you? Oh, really? I froze it too? Dude! Awesome! Fantastic! Awesome! Cradilly is taken out. Very cool. Didn't even see it because his eyelids were frozen. <laughs> now, Armaldo, he's going to be weak to water and rock, which is both your types, so he's kind of screwed. So you surf in Ancient Power, and may not even be able to have to take out Kabutops in this battle. It's interesting. Lilip's taken down with a double move. And our model's getting hit for a super effectiveness. And let's see how much ancient power will do to him. Eat it. Wow, I killed him in one hit. Or one hit from an ancient power from a Kabuto. That's kind of weird. But nevertheless, I'm happy. Berg has been defeated for the first time. And so I have enough time for one more battle CD. Looks like we will be able to do five in this episode. That's actually pretty cool. So, we're going to flip over to Battle CD 38 and do 39, but real quick, we got to see what we earned for doing that. And a Max Ether. Eh, I don't really care. <laughs> Alright, Battle CD number 39 is ours. And so this one is actually pretty interesting. They kind of screw you over, because you have to fight the evolved forms of Amistar, or you have to fight Amistar and Kabutops first. And you have the pre-evolved forms of your fossil Pokemon, Cradilly and Armaldo. You have Anorith and Lilip. I don't see how that's fair. I really don't. Um, now, something you're going to have to watch out for is your Anorith line, like the Anorith and Armaldo, they're useless in this battle. They really are. Because they're both going to die in the first turn. I'll show you why in, like, right now. Because they're both... Amistar and Kabutops are both going to go for Anorith. Um, and they both exploit Anorith's weakness of Brock and Bug. With Lily, you're going to want to use... Uh, with Lily, with Lily, you're going to want to use Bullet Seed, because that is your ace in this battle. That really is. Like, you are going to need Bullet Seed. So, even if you throw out Armaldo, he knows Earthquake, which probably could come in handy. 
except for the fact that instead of Surf, I'm going to start nose Waterfall, and that's going to insta-kill Armaldo as well. I don't even know how that's fair. But that's just how the ball rolls. Whatever. So we'll throw at Cradilly. And this is where you become desperate. Cradilly and Lily will hold their own against a certain amount of attacks. Like, they will eventually die. But try to use Bullet Seed and hit as much as possible. Go for Amistar with Lily, because Amistar is the weaker one. Whereas Cradilly, you're going to want to use Bullet Seed as well. And they're both going to try and attack you, obviously. Um, Lily, obviously, is going to die faster. So try to do as much damage as possible to Amistar. Hopefully try to kill it. Maybe that'll... that'll hopefully that'll happen. Um, but for the most part, you're going to be relying on your Cradilly to use Bullet Seed. One. Two. Three. Come on. Oh, I didn't kill it. Dang it. Curse you, Buzz Lightyear. Come on. Kill Amistar. I'm pretty sure... Can't survive any more of this. Yay! Amistar's dead. But sadly, Lilip's gonna die next turn. And so Cradilly is gonna hold hold out against roughly three Pokemon. Uh, now one thing you're gonna want to worry about is his Kabuto, even though it's a pre-evolved form, um, it's actually gonna do a lot of damage to you for some reason. It's like it's really tough. Um, so your Cradilly is going to want to kill the Kabuto first after you take out Kabutops. And hopefully your Bullet Seed will hit enough to kill it, really. It's kind of it's kind of luck, because you know Bullet Seed only hits two to five times, and sadly most of the time it hits two times. Uh, you may have to do this more than once. I'm just going to have to say that right now. So, But target Kabuto, because he's the tougher one. You can actually see him doing a lot of damage for some reason. I don't get it. Why is my Cradilly so weak or his Kabuto so strong? It's weird, but uh, should be able to only take two Bullet Seed to take out. Yep. See you later, Kabuto. Uh, you, you're screwing. Naruto days are over. Much shot missed, and that would actually have lowered my accuracy, which probably would have been bad. One. Two, yes, three, finally. Awesome. So, Battle CD number 39 is defeated, guys. It's just that easy or that hard, depending on how well it goes. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. So, if you guys like my videos, uh, throw me a like, comment, subscribe. I would definitely appreciate that. Um, go to those links in the description. They go to some awesome places. And continue thinking about the game you want me to, uh, to do. I'm going to put up a poll on all three of my sites after I'm done with this walkthrough. Um, but yeah, we got a max other. And I'll see you guys in the next episode when we start off with CD number 40. So I'll see you then. Goodbye!